What's going on everybody, it's Cindy back with another video, and in this video I'll be showing you guys the best and fastest HD render settings for Adobe After Effects uh, CS6. I'm not sure if this works for CS5 or any other version, but uh, it's a certain for CS6. So uh, once you've got your video uh, edited and whatnot, uh, everything that you want to have done, done. Uh, for this I just have a short Minecraft clip. Um, Go ahead and uh, trim the work area to, uh, well I'm just going to get to the end of the clip here and hit N. And then uh, if your composition is longer, like what I just had my clip, my compositions I always make at 25 minutes, I don't know why. Uh, a quick tip to get it lined up exactly is if you use like the next frames and whatnot to get to the first uh, black screen. Um, where the time indicator is, uh, just go ahead and hit the end button, and that's going to bring the uh, <coughs> sorry the render region to uh, where you have the time indicator. And uh, if you want to cut it off at the front, B is to cut it off at the front. So that was just really quickly. So to start off for the render settings, what you want to do is while holding down the shift button, don't let go of it. Go to Edit Preferences and General. And uh, once this pops up, you can let uh, go of it. And uh, holding shift, what it does is it comes up with this uh, tab called secret. And uh, all you guys are going to want to do is uh, check off disable layer cache. And then put the purge every uh, frames during make movie. Put that to two. Uh, I'll show you guys here. Without holding shift, uh, preferences, uh, general, uh, it doesn't come up. So, um... Once that's done, go ahead and add it to the render queue. Uh, save it as whatever you want for this. Uh, just comp one is fine. Uh, next, what you're wanna, gonna want to do, sorry, is uh, on the output module, click on lossless, and for the format, click H.264 and check off include source XMP meta data. Uh, this is fine. Uh, channels RGB, depth, millions of colors, and color pre-multiplied matted. Uh, click on format options for basic video settings, high, 5.1. I'm not sure if, I don't think that uh, changes, so that should still be high in 5.1. Uh, for the bitrate settings, you're going to want to check off CBR and put the bitrate to 8. And then go ahead and click OK. Uh, if your video has audio, uh, go ahead and check off audio output, but you don't have to change anything because it's really good audio. Uh, if you don't have audio, uh, don't don't bother uh, checking that off. Um, you're going to want to go to uh, render settings, click on best settings, and obviously quality should be best, resolution should be full, uh, the size 1280 by 720, that's fine. Uh, everything else should be the exact same. And uh, to get it to render really fast, what you want to do is under frame rate, click use compositions frame rate, uh, or you can just click whichever one, either one, and uh, custom manually put it in. But just check off that. Click OK. So that's done. Uh, you can go ahead and click render. And uh, for clips and whatnot, it renders pretty fast. As you can see, it's it's going pretty fast. Uh, I know it's, uh, it might not be the fastest one out there, I don't know what that popped up, but uh, for HD, it comes up for 720 HD, 720p, so that's really good quality. Um, if you guys like this video and it helps you guys out, that was <laughs> quite a cut right to the chase, but uh, if you like this video and it helps you out, go ahead and thumbs up and comment that it helps you out, and uh, if it didn't work or you have problems with this, go ahead and comment below and uh, I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible uh, if this did work for you however go ahead and share it or link it to your friends so they can get the best uh, and fastest HD render settings for Adobe After Effects CS6 um,